exciting stuff going on today guys we will be figuring out how to power up to six cpu mining rigs off a single 1200 watt server power supply going on guys rabbit mining here please hit that subscribe button thumbs up button as well as bell notification to be notified for future videos so we're not going to be getting all six of these actually up and running off the single server psu today we're going to be doing some testings i'm still waiting on some potential possible parts to come in to actually make this more widespread so i can actually get all six on it and the reason i actually want to do this is because instead of using all these atx power supplies that are in here and all these cables that are coming into my pdu filling it right up i want to get rid of all those and run as many as i can off a single server psu to clean up all these cables and this is how we are going to do it i got a box i ordered 10 of these things and these are 300 watt pico adapters from our geek Here's our box full of them. I'm gonna go through this. We're not gonna open this box. I got one out. That is the single one we are gonna be testing on our 3950X rig. And this is what we are gonna be dealing with here. Here is our 300 watt Pico. See right here, we got our 24 pin. We got a four pin for our CPU. This does have two four pin uh, connectors, four and eight pin on the CPU before you actually get in a heartache. Before I just said, that's only a four pin CPU. This is our little 24 pin Pico adapter. So here, we got like 20 pins or so which does go to your 24 this will plug in like so right there it has a one four pin for your cpu and again here is your other four pin for the other four pin to make uh eight pin on your cpu here so this will plug in right here giving you two four pins for your eight pin over up here we are moving this is our power cable so this is the power cable it's going to go in right here and this is the end that we will be hooking up into our actual server power supply through cables and this male connector 2.5 millimeter to 5 millimeter we're going to be putting our two cables into these attachments right here which then does plug in like so right here and that's it that is how this thing does work now for the cable i will be using i am going to be using this six pin to a six plus two so i'm going to be pulling all these wires out of here and leaving only two in a negative and a positive for this actual cable connector right so so for that i only need two this is 16 gauge wire uh the one i am getting in for everything will be 14 gauge i will have a link to a calculator in the description but uh, at two feet, this will be good for up to 20 amps at 12 volts. So that's 240 watts amps total. So keep that in mind. Uh, that calculator will distance between the gauge, uh, the length, everything. All these things do factor in how much power you can run through this. Again, uh, in the end, when I actually get everything in, I'm going to have a different breakout board and everything come in for this. But we are going to be using 16 gauge for this. And in the end, it will be 14 gauge that I will be using when we do the video on putting everything together once I get all the parts in. Okay, guys, for this end here, which does have the 6 plus 2, all I'm simply going to do is take my side cutters. I'm just going to cut them all off as close to the same length as possible. So right across the get-go, boom, gone like a rocket. So there we go. We have these wires here. I only need two of them and we're going to be pulling the other side out with some pliers. Here I am with my set of pliers and all I'm going to be doing here is pulling these out. So I'm going to need one black and one yellow. So I'm hoping the black is following negative and the yellow is following positive. If not, we could run into some crazy situations in the future here. So we're just going to hold on to this and pull that out like so. There we go. The pin is out, but the pin is still stuck in that one. So that's not good. We're going to have to get that out of there. Uh, we're going to pull some more out here boom that one fully came out so you can see there's the pin and everything so that wire is out and then we're gonna need one more here if it comes out oh that one was in there good so there we go now we have one and one so i'm gonna work on getting that one pin out and then we should be good to go okay we do have this all cleaned up now so we only have the two pins in there that we do need and now we're gonna make sure our length so if we take our length hold it down here spread it all nice and straight so we do have the same length of cable here it looks like we are slightly shorter on one end just going to make sure i got it right do it again here straight beside each other and we are a little bit off so we're going to fix that here right quick and that's just a simple 
cut of the ordeal right here so we'll get that lined up bam all right so now we are nice and straight same length there if it will focus doesn't want to focus so you can see same length of cables now we're gonna have to strip this out and put it into our little male attachment here we go nicely stripped wires here all i gotta do now is insert these into this male attachment right here and we should be good to go on the power side so here i have it all put together for you guys now this green wire here normally green is like a ground but supposedly this is like a piggyback so i'm going to tape this up before i do put into this test and operation this is our power cable here uh this is our four pin will that focus for you guys there we go no nope. focus there we go so there is our four pin for one cpu and coming off our 24 pin here is another four pin for our cpu right there so we have two four pins which does make up that eight pin like i was saying earlier now to power this thing like i said we got this coming in here this is our power side here this is our adapter we got here this will just plug in together like so and then our six pin right here will go into our breakout board right here now i'm going to be using a zs or no this isn't the zsx this is the x11 amp it will show our current voltage that we are drawing from the board as well as our voltage and amperage so amperage voltage we can calculate how much total system power we are drawing i'm also going to have this on a watt meter so i can watch it and make sure everything is within limits but we can see the voltage that is actually coming off onto this cable while we do use it so this is a really nice board for this type of experiment and test here we are at uh my little workstation test bench streaming type of outfit operation here i got everything moved over here we're going to take a look at the watt meter right quick you can see 106.4 watts 106.7 104.9 so here we are this is the 3950x cpu it is in hive os currently running off this thousand watt uh, atx power supply so we're going to pull that atx power supply off move our 1200 watt server psu get this pico and everything all hooked up now max on my settings i always run the 3900x as well as the 3950x seem to run at the same settings 3.6 uh, gigahertz all core overclock at one volt and i've only seen a max of about 138 watts on the high end of raptorium and on the low end it's only like 84 so the max peak we are going to see on this with these settings like i said 138 watts is the total we will see on this so we will be way within the limits based on our 16 awg cable atx power supply is out of there it's gone nowhere to be seen uh, because we are running this on 120 volt this 1200 watt psu is now only max rated at 900 watts keep that in mind and i believe if you're only on 110 volt it's only 800 watts don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's the way she works but if you are on 220 plus this is a 1200 watt power supply now it does use a little bit of power breakout board is currently off i'm going to turn it on see what kind of power draw this thing is using uh just stock so we can kind of monitor my power consumptions a little bit better so it looks like we are at 27.7 pretty consistently there a little the odd spike to 0.8 so 27.7 and i'm going to write that down then i subtract anything we are using based on this and that's how much power this complete system here should be using okay guys so this is the moment of truth i have it all hooked up i'm going to go through all my connections here right quick and then turn this on and see if we either spark light a fire or something i'm testing this so you guys don't blow something up and i hope i don't wreck nothing because again this is a 3950x so if something does go hopefully it's just a motherboard and that's a lot cheaper than the actual cpu itself so here we are there is our board the 20 pin coming into the 24 pin right here it comes out to all sorts of connectors one being the sata connector for our ssd drive uh, over here we do have one four pin coming into the cpu here and the other four pin coming out of that pico into our four pin over here now it's not using the standard eight pin so i'm using the four pin plus the four pin on the extra power so if it needs more power out of here then it will draw from this one that is that little gaming gimmick i usually talk about because usually we use a standard eight pin and we never need to use that four pin but even for this setup we may only need a four pin by itself for this because we're not drawing too too much power here is our uh, positive and negative on our six pin into our breakout board coming into our male five millimeter to 2.5 millimeter which does go to the power section right here and i taped off our pigtail ordeal right here so that is not being used for here so now all we gotta do is turn on this power i am going up to hit the power switch power 
on and we got lights we got power everything is good the flight sheet and everything is set up so when this does boot into hive os it should just go away and start mining on its own so here we go so far everything is looking like it is intended to do what's our power draw looking like so it is here focus focus 74.1 again we do got to take away that 27.7 Based on that, uh, I don't know off the top of my head what that really is. So I'm going to let this boot in, start mining, and see what it looks like. Okay, so this has been running for about 10 or 15 minutes now. Everything seems all right. Everything is nice and cool in there. Nothing seems to be getting hot. So power and cables and everything should are doing what they are intended to be doing and not catching fire. Take a look at some power here. So you can see 135.8, 136.5. So where we'll actually hold it. So 131 point, I don't know what to do here. Let's go 136 just because. So 136, and we are going to subtract our 27.7 just to see what's going on. We're sitting at 108.3 watts, so not too, too bad at all. Everything is looking good and as intended. So there we go, guys. This Pico switch is working. Everything is good. Now, once I do get the proper parts in, I will be hooking this up to all six of my 3900Xs that are on the rack out there. I'll be using a different breakout board, different style, everything for it. But this temporary workaround on this test bench is working 100%. Again, links will be in the description for everything in this video. And when I get all my proper stuff in that I do want to use, I will be doing another updated video on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, bell notification, thumbs up button. I'll catch you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.